Hello? What's up, girl? What happened after Tony dumped you? Girl, I'm over it. I went from heartbreak to hate. Hey, 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 hey. Oi, Joy. Hi, sick Bob. How's it going? Uh, it's, it's, uh, I thought it was going poorly until I saw you, and then I'm like, well, I might be doing a little bit better. Thanks. I mean, I mean that in a way of like empathy and feeling bad for you Aww, and all of the above. I love it when pity all people the pity me. <laughs> Come on. So Bob's uh, sick again. I'm sick. Of, never not sick, obviously. This is it really like it's really been strange, but for like the last consecutive year, not calendar year, you have been sick all of the time. All the time. Like, so. you'll be well for two weeks, and then right back at... Is that is that one of the things that makes you hate humanity? Sickness? Um, yes. Okay. So, <laughs> is that a lead-in to this <laughs> that, I thought today? you would like that. I thought you might like it a segway, little bit. Segue, You never like my segues. You only like it when you segue something, so... Because it's brilliant. <sighs> so, like, I mean, that just adds to the things. Like, I already... When I... Kids, listeners, I'm talking to you now. I'm not talking to Bob anymore. She's turned away from me. When I walked in, like a cold pillow, to this, I hate your face. <laughs> when I when I walked in today to record this episode, um, which I brought him a gift, by the way. But does he care? No. I said thank you. You did. That's not the point. That doesn't add to my story of you being ridiculous. So. <laughs> I'm gonna tell my narrative my way. That's apparently what we do now here in America. In 2019, so... Tell your narrative. Um, testify. Cohen, testify. I am going to testify. So, as I walked in, I was already thinking, I hate. Just period. I hate. Um, yeah. Lots of things. And then, that's we decided that that needs to be the episode. Reasons that's today's episode. Reasons and ways to hate humanity. What you can do yeah. to hate things more. That makes me think of Night of the Living Dead. Um... Because the little girl in the basement, she just says, I hurt, and it works with I hate. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Like, I would wear a t-shirt that just said I hate. Dot, dot, dot. Yeah. <laughs> Why don't we have those? I don't know. It sounds like marketing Coming plans. to a store next to, near Heart you. to hate t -shirts. A, a web store near you. <laughs> yes. <sighs> Somebody that already listened to this in the future, and they've already marketed those T-shirts. They have not. We've already done it. Because we are. We did it two seconds after travelers. we get out. Because <laughs> anyway. we record ahead of time. We do. Shockingly, uh -oh. we're not live. Listen. At the random times in which I post. The exactly. Podcast. Listen. Nobody wants us to do this live. We did it live before. Well, we we did. We did it live for quite a while. But I also feel like we've gotten better. Well, we've gotten Just better, but we still do it the same exact way we did live. We do it one take. We don't stop. We don't go backwards. Wow, you're just going to tell all our secrets? People could have thought we were out here we're perfecting it and doing no, magic. No, people are probably, they have a list of things on a podcast. <laughs> if they just <laughs> step back from that microphone, their peas wouldn't pop. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if they thought through what they were going to talk about before they did it. We feel like the natural aspect adds a little something. It's real. It that's is That's what real. we get the most. People Listen, say that the podcast is real, it and is that's real. important. It is. I would hate to have a prefabricated prop podcast. Yeah, that would be... Podcast. We wouldn't even want to do it anymore. No. It no. takes the soul out of it. Yeah. It takes the hatred. I'm sorry. I'm stuck I'm stuck in a loop. And That's um, fine. Yeah. It's filler. It shows how real we are. <laughs> We're vibing. We're, we are. We're, we're vibing on hatred. I'm ready to jump in. Okay, so... I'm sorry. If you went to dip your dip, big toe in the, in the hate pool... So we're trying to come up with something light. I'll give you something light. Here's light. something just to kind of introduce you to hate. Try and order just two things. Two quick things. Popular items. From your local McDonald's in the drive-thru. I was going to cut that plug off for that restaurant, but go right ahead. I'm sorry. I mean, because everybody knows it. The world over. Yeah. And they've been doing this shit for years. 
And yeah, so it's like they just don't expect anybody to actually order. And it, it, I did do this to myself because you, you know that there are certain, you know, places, certain ones that are better than others. But right. I thought I was safe because it wasn't like right after work. And you were on Neal Street though, right? I was on Neal Street. Yeah. But I just thought to myself... Because my problem is, you know, I'm a linear person. I'm a planner. Uh-huh. And it's like I have things have to go in order. I don't like to go backwards to go forward. I don't uh-huh. like to do any of that. And I don't like to go out of my way. So I, do, I figure out things that are on the way. And it was specifically on the way. And I was like, and it's not rush hour. Mm-mm. And I was like, and I'm only getting two things. Right. Fries and some nuggets. You make those all day. You should just have them sitting there. You don't want that, though. You know what I mean, though? Yeah. My point they're in a brown bag. No. You pull them out with your hand, toss them into the fryer. Just, I don't understand what the problem was, but. Well, you know when you, you nugget, there's always that chance that your sauce ain't going to be in there. <clears throat> oh, yeah. It was this time. See, this is the thing. When they're already slow, yeah. they do double check because they know there's going to be that black person that's going to become irate when they don't do all the things. In fact, I was surprised there were no napkins because. I was trying to ask for things nicely. I was still trying to be nice, even though I was like, this doesn't make no sense. When I finally got to my turn, you know, yeah. I was like, Hannah has some ketchup and some napkins. She, she couldn't hear none of the things. I'm like, uh, could I have some napkins? She was like, y'all even no napkins. I was like, oh, I hate this place. And then I just, once again, was like, never come to this location. Just don't ever do it. But is there, I mean, this is, this is more of a regional question, I guess, for the locals. Mm-hmm. Uh, is there really a good one? I mean, I feel that each one of them has their issues. Each of them has their issues. Things. I'm going to say that if you go on Mattis, you know the one on Mattis? There's only one on Mattis, right? The Mattis. Yes. But I went, and they, all, they made me pull forward once because the stupid timer was, they, they're like on a timer, so at least they're trying to move it quickly. And as soon as I pulled forward, 30 seconds later, the little girl was coming outside with my bag. I was like, so why did I have to do that? But I've they been were there trying to twice keep where my car was apparently too small to register as a vehicle in their drive through Oh. <laughs> oh, wow. I didn't know that was a thing. Well, I just assume that's the problem unless no one was responding. And that's oh. even more hate. <sighs> okay, so I thought it was a small thing. But anyways, we can stop talking about them and move on to something else to hate. Uh, are we talking about small things to hate? Yeah, we're used to it. we were just dipping in. People using my oxygen. <laughs> wow. <laughs> are you sure that's a small thing? <laughs> I mean, oxygen, I feel, is not maybe not in abundance as it was 25 million years ago, but it's still pretty prevalent in the world. It is. We still have oxygen. Yeah. Um, I just, mind. I just need more. Okay. Usually because someone's already burnt the fuck out of mine. Like, I'm already burning through it because someone else has got my, my anger um, up. So, you know, I have that oxygen deficiency problem, (laughs) a transient ischemic attack. Wow, they are getting medical and everything. Okay. those that don't know what those are, it's when the oxygen in your body, like, shifts into the wrong direction of flowing in your blood, and you have stroke-like symptoms. Um, So, typically, elevation does it to me, airplanes, climbing things, stair, anytime oxygen and elevation changes quickly. It happens. But it also happens when motherfuckers are motherfuckers. Okay. And so, yeah, I just need more oxygen. So when I'm a, when motherfuckers have already been motherfuckers and I'm in my motherfuck mode. Okay. Which is a lot of the time. Then that's when the nicest people who I normally wouldn't give the cutoff to have to come and talk to me. <laughs> right. They're like, I'd love to go and say hi, Bob. I think see how he amazing, is. It's amazing time to come over and see how Bob's been doing today. <laughs> so that's usually when my oxygen is yeah. depleted. Because Probably when someone talks to you. Because you're using more, because you're trying to, like, you know, rebalance the levels in your body right. and still be nice to You're like, this is an innocent person. This is an innocent person I'm trying. But the, the thing is, that, the thing about science and breathing uh-huh. is that whenever someone's breathing into you or talking to you, carbon dioxide is coming into you. So what you're breathing in is more carbon dioxide than oxygen. 
You just got real scientific. I don't know if that's true fact. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> from my white, old white no, male perspective we'll on science, shit up on this show. I'm pretty sure that's true. I mean, I know the, the flow of oxygen and carbon dioxide, right? Right. We know what that is. Right. I think it's right. I have another one. Is it scientifically related? <laughs> it's not scientifically Let's related. Science spin on I wasn't perfect. This is, awesome. this is the science of hate show. No. <laughs> I'll just tell it, and then you, if you can find a scientific spin, right, I'll spin it. Go forth. Um, so, uh, to be very specific, my it stems from asking uh, any kind of landlord to do actual maintenance oh. on your apartment. Uh -huh. But we can also relabel this, um, asking people to do their actual job at their actual fucking job. That's a problem in, our, a in our little town here. Mm -hmm. Nobody here thinks that they should have to do their job when they're at their fucking job. Um, but specifically maintenance, pretty much every place I've ever lived and I try not to have a lot of maintenance issues, but sometimes you have the thing. And everything on there in, in your actual contract will say, do not do maintenance yourself. Call us. Like they would actually want to help you, right? Right. Then you do. Nobody no. ever shows up. No, nobody wants to do anything. No. You know? Um, the last place I was in, I'm sure mold was just growing rapidly in the bathroom because there was water underneath there. And I told them about it multiple times. Never. They left it five months to be like, fuck it, we ain't fixing it. You know, um, so yeah, it's just, I don't, asking anybody to do their job at their job is just a recipe for increasing your own hatred. Right. Well, that's, I think, especially when you get into places where, um, maybe there's a lull in the job, mm -hmm. idle hands, devil's playground. Right. Um, those idle hands are probably in a back room somewhere just jacking off instead of doing their actual fucking job. Did you hear that? That was Joy <laughs> pretending to be me. It really was. It was like, seconds. and the role of Bobo <laughs> now be played by Joy Rafferty. I mean, I would not expect you to talk about someone jacking off. I was going to say they're on their phones. Oh, okay. You were going to be... So you were going to do me. You were going to be like nicer. Yeah. And I was like, no, I'm going a to a fever. dark place. Anyway. So yeah, that's when they're when there's that lull when you have to like walk up to somebody who's been on their phone at the job. That's the worst because that's yeah. like you know that they're already mad because they were in the middle of texting. <laughs> Sometimes at gas stations they're in the middle of putting their own music on even though the music is playing right, right. loudly through the gas station. They have to put their own music on on their phone because mm -hmm. that would drive me absolutely batshit. Or they're in the middle of creating the world's most entertaining Facebook post. Let's give them Instagram. Maybe, <laughs> okay. no, maybe Snapchat. Okay. Yeah. I think it's more of the speed, like, you know, quickly. No, that'd be too quick. Uh, that's what I'm saying. They're applying fucking dog ears <laughs> to their face <laughs> on Snapchat. They're adding Snapchat <laughs> filters, and you just fucked up their entire filter. They got the stars in their eyes. Mm. They have that heavenly glow that makes them look un unhuman, right. inhuman, if you would. And they're mad. They're going to slam their phone down. You and just then, fucked up my alignment. Then you fucked it up, and now they're going to come over and get mad at you and ring you up and say, debit or credit. <laughs> Which, why if they ask if it's debit or credit, do you always still have to push the debit or credit button? You, I <laughs> That's a true. It's a true question. <laughs> like, <laughs> I don't know. And some motherfuckers don't even ask. They just, just they just push credit, and you have to use credit. Yeah. It doesn't really matter. Like, let's be honest. At the end of the day. Well, I think, tax like some kind of fee wise, if people use debit cards, they don't get fees. Credit card machines. Yeah, but that's for the company, and it's like if they want to take roll the dice. On what their company is being charged, because they don't care, because they don't want to do their actual job. No. At their actual job. At their actual job. Wow. And I was a gas station worker, and I would really get mad if people interrupted my cigarette break, <laughs> because you could still smoke <laughs> inside the gas station back wow! then. Wow! That what? was a while ago. Well, joy, I'm old. <laughs> no. 
<laughs> just can't even, I personally can't even remember seeing anybody smoke in a gas station. What? Come on now. I mean, that just seems like they wouldn't be allowed. Because Why? Uh, they highly flammable. Cigarettes? They do, but you're supposed to go somewhere else and smoke them. No, you could technically still, I mean, they don't want you smoking around gas pumps, but technically... The gas, the amount of gas is too much compared to the cigarette. It would just put it out. Hmm. You'd need like a small amount. You'd need the right drag to the fire on your cigarette. In Here order you go for trying to, to get scientific it. again on me. It's, it's all those things. Plus it's like, you know, when people, those signs say turn your cell phones off and stop, stop your engine. Like I worked a full service gas station in the winter time for multiple years and people never turned their fucking cars off the entire time I was pumping their gas. <gasps> there was no blow up. My no life died. is a lie. I have always... The only time they'd have to turn their engine off is if they had checked, if I checked their oil because if you check your transmission flu- fluid, it has to stay on. There's all kinds of rules. <sighs> I need a moment. That just That just blew my mind. Never check your antifreeze when your car is running or even has been on. <laughs> That's an explosion. Um, what are you talking when the <laughs> podcast is coming? <laughs> it's even more you unprofessional. You did get me caught up. <laughs> God. Um, see, I try. I try. I try so hard. Um, but no, so I don't know. There's all kinds of lies around the world. Yeah, that's true. I do know that. I mean, the amount of people that believe some of the lies that are told to them is amazing. Like, you know, climate change doesn't exist. You got all those people that don't do that anymore. You don't believe in that. You have all those people who uh, don't believe in vaccinations. We've talked about that. Um, We have talked about that. There's all kinds of things that people just like, it doesn't apply to me. I'm not going to believe in it. And science is a big one. Like, I know somebody, and that actually is something that makes me mad. I might not understand science 100% or even 25, (laughs) but I still believe it works. Right. Do you know how I know? I know because we were talking on these electronic devices (laughs) that are plugged through a bunch of wires that are ran through an amp that are plugged into my computer. Yeah. See, in here I was going to, I thought you were going to say, you knew that science worked because you used to watch Mr. Wizard when you were a kid. No, <laughs> I didn't actually watch Mr. Wizard because I wasn't a fan. I'm sorry. I forgot when I just said it. We've, ta- we've had this discussion before, but it's been a few years. I forgot that we don't talk about Mr. Wizard. We can move on. All right. So, hate. <laughs> See? Inspiring hate on... <sighs> The air. On the Look air at how hate. good I am. Yeah, I mean, I don't know what incites me about Mr. Wizard. I think I and, and I'm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's okay. I'm sure like 95 percent of our listeners don't even know who that is. So we can. They know who Bill right Nye on. is, right? They do know who Bill Nye is. Um. Because he's the science guy. He's the science guy, and I don't know. Science works. Science happens. Science exists. You are a science experiment. Your body is filled with tiny little explosions. And that's science, Joy. Awesome. And you are from outer space. (laughs) All the particles and dust Uh that make up you. Mm -hmm. You're a star woman. Aww. I feel really high right now. I know. I was like, My did you take really a burning. Benadryl before we started recording no, and it's kicking I just in? I turned the heat up in here and it's like, I can't, you know, I can't live past 70 degrees. So it's well, like. We could always take a little break so you can. No, it's it. fine. This is real time in real life. Okay. I hate okay. being sick. Maybe that's your, we already talked about that a little bit. Do you have anything else that you really hate? Or are you just. I mean, I just said like four things. You said four quick things, but that's fine. You know, if you don't feel like just your just hatred needs to, expansion. Just trying to struggle, like make me more hatred towards this, this show, so that I go on rants and like. You do it to like me all the time. Person. It feels fair. It feels fair. But listen, that's fine. I can have something that I hate instead. What do you hate? I hate 
trying to drive anywhere at any time because people don't feel like they need to go the speed limits. No. People don't feel like, like just basic things. Like, I like they don't think they have to accelerate when they turn. They don't. They think they have, they actually think that they have to slow down slow to like five brakes. miles an mm -hmm. hour to make a turn. And sure, when you're first learning, you kind of feel that way. Not you. You're not the. You're not like the no. the standard rule to go by. Right. Most people when they first learn feel like they have to make a slow turn because it's all new, right? And you feel crazy like you're gonna run into somebody. Right. But if you've been doing it five years or more, okay, I'm gonna need you to just freaking go. Like nobody ever wants to go. Yeah. Why don't you all want to go? Why don't you want? To, my whole thing that makes me angry, and I'm glad you brought this up, is. If you have no fucking place to be, <laughs> then be out my fucking way. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. I know that people joke about Sunday drivers, and oh, that used to be a thing where people did. just like cruise around slowly, mm -hmm. blah, 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 blah. But people really need to get the fuck out of other people's way. I mean, we've talked about this in like stores situations, oh, and like yeah. it's, it applies it is, everywhere. It's, it's a continuation. I'm not saying because I feel like there's a fine line. I don't want people to think that I'm saying, oh, you know, you need to be driving like you're in a Fast and the Furious movie because I had a rant about a mini rant about that right. earlier this week. Yeah, and that's not required in a small town. But if we're go if the, we're on a street and the speed limit's 35, I don't feel it's crazy to ask you to go 35. Why are you going 25, ma'am? What are you doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like and 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 and, and know where you're going. Could because you? I mean, if you don't know where you're going, that's fine. But you don't have to slam on your brakes to see if this is where you're going. <laughs> you know those type of people I know exactly. where you see their heads moving oh, yeah. around. Mm -hmm. I'm lost. So confused. Is this the right McDonald's? like and slam on their brakes yeah and then typically they keep going because they're not <laughs> where they're supposed to be exactly. so then they're slowly going in front of you <laughs> my other favorite you don't see this too too often but the kind of person who breaks in case the light turns yellow you know that kind <laughs> I was actually taught to drive this way, and I erased it as soon as I no longer drove. What? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how my dad taught me. He was like, he's like, you want to have your foot hovering over the brake pedal in case the light turns yellow. <laughs> he be able to stop. This is like making my eyeballs want to fly <laughs> out my head. <laughs> I see it. I have concerns about them. I want to close your lids, eyelids, so that your eyes will stay in. And... You know, I mean, I, I did all that while I was driving with him. As soon as I stopped driving with him, that was the first thing I threw out the window. I was like, this whole break in case of, I can't live that life. I've, I've, I did. <laughs> <sighs> but he's not the only one because I've seen it. I've seen it oh, multiple, I know. so many times. I know. The thing is, yellow is just, it's a notion. <laughs> It's an idea. It's an idea, right? It's like, because it, once you know that <laughs> if you're turning and it's yellow, yeah, you're, you're still going to turn. Oh, you're absolutely going to turn. Well, you're listen, not going to back up. My and pull favorite back line. rule out of the the booklet, what is that called? The, the booklet has a name. The Rules of the Road. The Rules of the Road. My favorite rule of all time. If you get in the intersection before the light turns red, hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, you're good to go. You're good to go. And if you're like <laughs> and if it's icy conditions, yes. You don't even, you should never slam on your brakes at a yellow light. Mm -hmm. You should keep going. Keep going. Because it's safer Absolutely. than slamming on your brakes in icy conditions and causing more wrecks. You could kill people. Hey. Like, stop killing people. So people. you have to go. Yeah. Be nice like us and stop killing people. <laughs> <laughs> Some very cautious drivers yeah. are going to hear this and be like, oh, my God, I yeah, can't even. I can't even. <laughs> so speaking of rules, this might just end up being the end of the show is just rules of the road because okay. <laughs> this is this is a pedestrian on the road situation. Okay. I, I find it 
fine that people jog and run and do things which also burn up my oxygen, even though they're not near me, just burning up more oxygen for no purpose. Okay. Um, other than your fitness, get your fitness on, do your thing. Mm -hmm. When joggers or runners, usually joggers, you don't see too many people running. If they're running, it's usually, there's a reason. Mm -hmm. Gunfire, bombs. Murderers, Jason, Freddie, one of those people. Um, when they run off of the sidewalk and then get in front of your car on the road. Oh, yeah. It happens in that town next to us. We're mm -hmm. in Champaign, if that gives you any location. <coughs> oh, yeah. A tiny bit east <laughs> of Champaign. Yeah. Connected by streets, which the street names have to change. Oh, yeah. Because that couldn't just keep the fucking same street names. Mm -mm. Because no. Nope. They're special. They Gotta need have their different own, ones. They want their own shit. And uh, it happens quite a bit in the morning to me on my way to work where people just think that it's maybe that part of the sidewalk's too choppy for them and they just can't deal, so they got to go right into the road. And the thing is, we both know that my car is not capable of murdering somebody. <laughs> no. My car. You can give them a bruise <laughs> to really talk about. My car is barely. It's not. I, I think if I laid down, I'd be taller than my car, technically. Like, from front to you end. You really might, actually. I actually might be. And I'm only 5'11. I, I feel like we should take we should, this picture. When it's nice, we'll figure it out. <laughs> but uh, at least I know that my car is less than six and a half feet. So we'll right. say that. Okay. Um, and it's not made of the materials that in which are good to murder vehicularly. No. So not the metal from the land yachts back in the like oh, 70s, no. Those things 80s. were like, you know, five, six children. You can just keep going. You'd never know. <laughs> Still don't know the number. Um, so I can't hurt people. Right. Is that they, what I'm they, saying? Their bodies will hurt your car. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm like at a disadvantage <laughs> right. with a smaller car because I feel like I can't intimidate them. Yeah. And they know it. This so they're like, yeah. You, yeah. No, I need well, like I need like a the, like an impala. The other problem is that, you know, we're already a pedestrian town, a pedestrian favored, right? Right. Because of, you know, the campus and the whole thing, mm -hmm. everything is geared towards the driver has to stop at all times and people just get used to leaping in the street. It's like it's one thing for the pedestrian to have the right of way. But the way people just... They don't look. They don't look. They, they just... They don't care. You have to stop They just leap on faith. Yep. That is something that will incite some hatred, okay? Go driving on a campus anywhere near you, wherever you live. Yeah. Because I guarantee there's going to be all kinds of pedestrian walkways. And you're just going to constantly stop. And you're going to play Let's Not Kill Anybody because they just leap out. They don't look. Especially at night if there's ice. Double points if you can do all those things, because I guarantee you they still won't care. No. Um, pedestrians don't seem to understand that you can't stop on a dime in ice. And, uh, yeah. And, and I hate to be a, a generational basher. But let's do that. But on the same topic of people who are walking across in front of you, this generation of people are the slowest moving human beings. Ever. Yeah. And if they're in a crosswalk, that is the time in which a temporal, like, eruption happens and they have to move at a pace that is unbefitting of someone who is 18 years of age, <laughs> I must say, as an old man. <laughs> I feel your pace. I mean, I, I'm a fat guy, but I walk fast. Yeah. Like I have, I have places to go, places to be. I don't like I'm sloth a, around. Not gonna I'm, dilly dally. No, I don't like, you know, dealing with people's oxygen and shit. We've already talked about that. So I need to get there, get out, get go. I feel that they do that on purpose. Well, partially because they're on their phone. Mm, That's that. one thing. That is true. You think they just walk slow? I mean, there's there's some. People I've looked that in like, some. I've looked into some of their eyes and I've seen it. Like I hate. The, this is the one part of my day where I get to have some power, so I'm going to walk as slowly as humanly possible <sighs> and watch you hate your life. 
but why? Why do they want me to scream at them? And this winter, so my windows are up, and it's only better when I'm These windows are down. And I can scream at people. don't care about anything. They do not care about your feelings. No. They don't no. care about anybody's feelings. They don't. They don't. I'm sorry. <sighs> okay, I don't hate millennials, and I don't hate young people. I just. I just feel only if you're in a cross crosswalk. Will I just age. feel that you could walk faster. I'm just saying, you're you're healthier. <laughs> I mean, you all started working out when you were in like sixth grade. Right. Enjoy Every your youth. Every single one of you look like you've been on a fitness journey since you were six. <laughs> Whenever I was a kid, nobody had abs. <laughs> like no one had abs going into college. That wasn't a thing. <laughs> no. No one worked out. No one ran. Like the, that was only there twenty was like, five, thirty that's years. That's not true. Ago. There was like those five kids who were on cross country. That was yeah. Like, but those those kids were like jacked up on horse, like horse and pig fucking hormone injections and shit. But um, there was always that one person that looked thirty years old when they were in high school. <laughs> but you know, for the most part, everybody else was like shapeless human beings, right. mostly. Mostly non-gender specific looking shapes. <laughs> this was the 90s. We wore a lot of big baggy clothes. But still, like, I don't understand. They're fitter than we were. They should move faster. You would think, but somehow it doesn't translate. And remember that to be beautiful and natural is the birthright of every woman. And I wish you all loads and loads of loveliness and good luck. <laughs>